Hello and welcome, my name is Ahua and this is my Let's Play series of European Studies 4 where we are playing as Brandenburg into Prussia. In the last episode we got elected the Empire or the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire and that's so amazing. Um, still uh, have three uh, lectures pointing at me so we're still gonna get it if we, show, if we were to die which is after all pretty likely since we are getting pretty old as well. So we do kind of need to stay on top of this, making sure that um, that we get it were we to die. Anyway, we are right now in a war with Pomerania. And let me just unpause. We are doing quite well. I did kind of fuck up um, and lose some manpower that I shouldn't have done. But uh, right now it's okay. Let's see if we can go down and kill these guys uh, I think I'm gonna go this way Let's see if we can crush them yeah we got him just before he got into Stetton which was really lucky and uh, we don't have a leader which is a problem Oh, uh, Berliner on Weiler. If I nod it for a little bit, we might be able to get there and defend. Basically, Frederick II's desire and determination to build a resident on the island of Spree was met with unviolent indignation by the citizens of Berlin in 1448. The indignation against the cessation of the city's land for an electoral stronghold culminated in over revolt. So, yeah, one of the timed events we're gonna have to deal with. Hopefully we can get Saxony to come and help us. Yes. So once we get there I'm just gonna zip consolidate and fire this event and we'll be here to take care of them. Mm, killing rebels. It's gonna cost us some of our nice manpower though. We are looking at almost zero manpower after this battle, which is gonna suck. So we got a whole bunch of manpower out of being the Emperor, but it is maximum manpower, so it's actually not gonna help us before we make it back. Fortunately, we are making 400 manpower a month now instead of 200, so at least we get something out of it that way. How are we doing with the Pope, man? Might wanna improve him, even if we don't wanna stay Catholic for long. Might as well get something out of him before before that happens. So uh, the Ottoman finally decided to take back. No, well, I still have some of it, of course. He hasn't hasn't decided to take back yet. That is, of course, the first thing you should do were you to play them. Just get those cores back. And how are we looking with the institution? We are looking quite a lot, but I really want it. While we're looking in Berlin, it's almost at 50%. But I was beginning to think that it's most likely will spread through other countries. Denmark will get the Renaissance very soon from Friesland. And then it will hopefully spread to, to us within the next couple of years, I'm, I'm thinking. And Portugal ceded some stuff to Morocco. They are now out of Africa. And the siege of Stettin is over. And now if I can get this piece before uh, they get out and who oh, I can't. Can I get away from this? I think I can win over them. Yeah. Let's get this guy back from, from the Papal State I guess. Sorry. He's pausing all the time. <coughs> Trying to make my voice work with some coffee. I think we might have to go and 
See, it's out Aldenburg before we can get this. <coughs> of course, this is mainly because it will make them cease to exist, and that kind of makes people grumpy. Wouldn't, act wouldn't actually be that much aggressive expansion, though, because we have all of it claimed and so. That was expensive. We lost seven boats. That was really, really, really tough. Um, I'm gonna wait until the end of the war to buy them. Let's just uh, get these guys together and go and siege down Oldenburg as well. We can. Um, let's just go over here, Oldenburg. Might as well go down and see if we can. Oh, he's running away with his, his army. Ooh, he's coming back. Let's see if we can catch him. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Let's see if we can catch him in Berlin. No. What do we have? We have two maneuvers, so we might be able to get him. Oh, he's running away. I hate this. That's the only bad thing about being the Embrace, that people have so much room to move around. But, it doesn't matter now, we can take it. So take his gold away as well, and end this war. Bam! Pomerania is no more! And, now the ability wants some land. So let's just give them one of the new provinces. Now they're happy, and will you give me a lawful territory now? No. Oh well. Let's just go down in maintenance, and we have a lot of land now. Let's go up in maintenance again. We'll go deal with that rebellion. That was quick. We just had a rebellion in Danzig. Oh, apparently these are Danzig and uh, separatists, not uh, Teutonian ones. That's why. And you can protect Prade in Lübeck again. I think they will just get it before we get there. Yep. And Bohemia just uh, got the Renaissance. So it might spread even more quickly to us now. Uh, it, uh, it needs to spread out to Bohemia first. But once you embrace it, it spreads really quickly. As you can see here, there's a 0.266 uh, spread each month for because they haven't embraced. So it's going to be coming to us pretty quickly now. Uh, I'm going to lose prestige. And... Let's just buy up as many boats as we can. And go down to half maintenance. Make some money again. And go up to full maintenance because of all the rebellions ever. Starting to feel like our Ottoman campaign here. It's a shame we can't fit in humanism into our idea groups. But Prussia is growing rather large, and we don't have a single. Um, I think quite impressed with all the different. Um, what are they called? Strongholds that are in this area. We don't have a single one. I did delete the one in Berlin. I can't remember if I deleted anyone else. Uh, Interpace is saying hi, hi to you, and welcome to the stream. Um, uh, we can get over without going over the river, so we're gonna do that. And we might as well just shift consolidate. Come on now. I think we're doing bad because I think they may have gotten the tech even if I didn't. So we're definitely losing a lot of manpower on this. We are negative manpower now, so it means we'll have to lay lay low for a little while. Let's go back to speed four. 
almost at full tech penalty now. Oh, half, half. It's 50 that goes to. Okay. But uh, Ottoman just got the bronze cannons. Of course, they do have Renaissance already, so. Do we have any. We have Pomeranians in. Let's just send them to one of them. Put a little bit of repression on them. And uh, I think I'm gonna start saving my money up because we are gonna have to pay to get the Renaissance. We might as well make sure that we have a good, good deal of money once we get it. We broke our alliance with Poland, and we are now rivaled with Poland. Do we still have the royal marriage and military access? That sucks. Uh, so now we are married to our rival. At least that probably means that he won't be able to, um, to go to war with us anytime soon, though. But it means that we have a powerful foe now instead of a, a powerful ally. And it does mean that we now need to find an ally. ally. Uh, we of course lost mines as well. See if we can get that alliance back with uh, the Palatinate. We can. Could we get one with France? Probably not. I'm gonna try anyway though, I think. Um, so the ability just got 10 influence. Not a big problem. And it's one of those standard things, so I'm just gonna read it. Um, So, um, that's quite a right, Anapaz, you are welcome to a uh, comment. Um, yeah, basically just waiting for our manpower to come back now, waiting for the renaissance to spread. Um, it is getting closer and closer. I think it will break through here in Denmark very soon. From there on it should spread to our coasts. And it should spread in Bohemia as well. We should get it pretty soon. It did take a it, uh, it did take a very long time because I have to spread up through. I think that and colonialism will be the biggest problems for us to get. Once we get to printing press, it will be a lot easier because that spreads in Protestant countries. Same with global trade. At this point, will be big enough that we'll have. Uh, basically, these guys, these prop, these, these last three ones won't be a problem because. At that point, will be pretty big. The biggest problem there will be actually paying for it. So, how are we looking with our states now? Basically, everything except for Lunenburg is part of our states, and we have some stuff we could incorporate. Hmm. I wanted to save that money. I better click that off so I don't forget. So, what is our next target? I feel like it's gonna be Denmark. Denmark, you're allied with Poland though, but I'm I'm just gonna just gonna quietly build a little bit of spy network on you. I'm gonna take you back and I'm gonna send you to France and see if we can get an alliance down there. What about Austria? Austria doesn't like us much. They they do like they don't like us at all. It's it's a better way of putting that. So I'm just gonna Poland. Who are you? You are rivals with Austria, but Austria don't like us. You are rivals with us. You are. I think we're gonna try and see if we can get France on our side. France is always a nice ally, especially against Austria if you get into a fight with him. He's a bit far away to help with Poland, but just the the size of him will will be a deterrent at least. Denmark and next part of Novgorod over here. Denmark is rather powerful in this. It might not be that easy to get. Uh, problem is that Sweden hasn't uh, gotten free. Um, but they have the li liberty side is 100% now. So they might actually want to break free. We could go and support his independence if we wanted to. That would mean we would get into a war with uh, Denmark where we couldn't really get much out of it. But 
will get Sweden out of the Union. Um, but he is allied with Poland, which would be a problem. And Poland, although you have no Dominion or Lithuania right now, which is good. Maybe we could even get an alliance with we could get an alliance with Lithuania right now. I'm gonna go for that right, 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 right now. Because he doesn't feel any way with like he is morally married with Poland, but that's it. If I could um, use Lithuania against Poland, that would be amazing. And I'm just gonna see if I can pick up uh, France still. Does that? Does he get the? No, he hasn't gotten the large allies penalty, so it might still be possible. It's not likely, but it's not gonna happen if we don't try. So, um, how are we looking here? We are still quite far away from being a, a great nation. So here we are doing pretty, pretty amazingly. We're basically secure now, we don't have to worry about it. Uh, Bohemia is mad. Yeah. Well, I think... Uh, of course we're gonna go and, and deal with these guys. Oh! 75. F this, I'm gonna go after... After the Tonic Order. If I can get Koenigsberg before we get... Oh, we only at tech 6, so we can get Koenigsberg in good time now. Let's just get this spy network built. I want to claim Königsberg. Uh, probably Memel as well. Um, and then just like any sea, sea things I wanted. Uh, nobility. So who can... Oh, I can get away with nobility easily. And I, oh, I pressed the wrong thing. Ah, oh, I'm so bad at that. Well, at least they won't be lo just loyal for long. I, I survived. But the other thing, I wouldn't even have gotten them one month of disloyalty. I would rather have these guys have a high... Uh, yeah. It's okay. We're getting a lot of trade efficiency out of these guys, so... Border attention, get a claim on Marienburg. That is awesome. Free claim. So the truce is ending in about a year. By then, hopefully, we can have a claim on Königsberg. They are already allied with Hungary and Livonian order. Again, I don't think we even forced them to stop that. So we are gonna have to fight them. Um, but hopefully, we can get some guys to help us. And how are we looking? Well, most of Europe has the has the Reformation at this point. Only poor little Brandenburg is, is falling behind. Maybe I should have developed Berlin earlier. Maybe I would have gone quicker if I've done that. I think we're just in a pretty Bad, so it's a bit, pretty bad position in the way it travels, so... Uh, Poland gets a claim, yeah. Nothing I can do about that. We're getting a good amount of money, though. So, if we wanted to embrace it, does it even say? I think it does. Um, it should say it in this tooltip. Oh, yeah, we need to be on this one. Uh, embrace. So it's going to call it... Qu uh, so that's about... 300, between 350 and 400 ducats uh, for embracing it. So that's going to be on the steep side still, but uh, I think I'm just going to save money up and, and see if it can happen. What's our mission right now? We're going to try to make... 3 Alikas. Uh, Tria, 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 Tria... You're not gonna ever like us that much, are you? No, you're not. But uh, what about you, France? 
Are you gonna like us? Are you gonna be our friend? If we get the neutral thing to go away, then we basically have the alliance, so... It, I actually think it's more than likely if we can get this relationship up. Um, if I'm willing to invest a royal marriage in it, I think we already have it. Um, do I want... Yeah. I might as well make the Lithu... Lithu... Yeah, do I want a royal marriage with you? Depends on if you're gonna be, and then, like, what do you, how would you feel about attacking Poland? How would you feel about that? Let's just wait until the first, so we have time to send him back. Let's just... Uh, oh, I shouldn't have pressed that. So the first. Pull this guy back. Wait. Okay, so... Lithuania. Um... So you are minus 60 because you like Poland. But I'm wondering if that would change if we had... Um, if we had favors with you. I think I'm just gonna say yes. I'm just gonna try because they are big nations so... I just need someone to kinda have my back. And now I can get the alliance with you as well. Very nice. France and Lithuania would be good allies against Poland and Austria. And we don't have the truce with you now more anymore. If we wanted to go to war with you right now, we could Saxony to help. Who else? Uh, Palatinate, don't have 10 favors. Cologne. This is just no war. France don't have ten favors. Lithuania, owe a lot of money, and don't have favors. So right now it's basically the money. If we, if we got away, away with those money, if we, if they got those money that get got rid of the debt, then they would help us. They, we would have to promise them territory, uh, but we could just give them some of the Livonian Ordo territory. I think they would be more than happy about that. So. We could take this, they could take some of this, and we would all be happy. Happy, happy people. And how are we looking for economy? We have plenty of money right now. So I think I'm gonna start investing some of our manpower. I'm gonna go up to... To have four cavalry. Which is probably safe. We're gonna get cannons. Uh, oh, so Ottomans are all the way up to seven in tech now. We will get there pretty soon once we get uh, once we get up to to the Renaissance. We'll also probably get cannons within a pretty quick quick amount of time. Do 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 do. Still just waiting for that Renaissance to fire. It's gonna be soon in this. So this one is spreading at two point three four month. So within. So uh, eight, eight months, eight, nine months, it's gonna be there. Let's get a guy here. I'm gonna go for the, yeah, we're gonna go for the inflation reduction. <coughs> we gotta be so behind in admin tech. That's that's not even fun. At least we are going to get the technology cost modifier from Innovative, as well as the institution embracement cost. And we now have enough points to claim Königsberg. I think I'm going to wait and also claim Memel uh, or Warmia here, just because um, it also gives Lithuania to probably, hopefully, get into a situation where they can actually help us. Um, because I don't think I can deal with Livonian Order, Teutonic Order, and Hungary in one go. And remember, whenever I go to war, all of the Holy Roman Empire opens up, so Hungary can get to me. Can get to me and will get to me. Uh, we have a lot of... Uh, four, five alliances now, that's nice. France, Cologne, Lithuania, Palatinate, Saxony. Lots of nice help if anyone declares on me at least. Do 
do, do, do. Getting a new. So we can conquer Marienburg. What will we get? We'll get some manpower cover speed. How far are we away from solidifying with the pape? pape the pape. Let's just pape. Pape it up. I don't want those pape points anyway. The papening. Okay. I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider the like button and subscribing. Hope to see you in my next episode. And other than, have a great day.